hell has officially frozen over. The United States Department of Education just came out and said that the COVID virus, also known as the Wuhan virus, which you're not supposed to say, of course, because that's racist, but that the COVID virus they now believe came from the lab leak in Wuhan. Is that like woohoo? That they, I mean, sort of reminds me of closing the barn doors after the animals have gone. Uh, and this is why no one trusts government. It also is why Donald Trump was right again. This is not a pro-Trump comment. It's just stating the facts. So what's going to now happen to all these people who were labeled conspiracy theorists, present company included as well, when we all said that the leak came from the lab? I guess they'll get back to us on that. The other thing I think is kind of funny, if you haven't seen it, just for a little levity, the actor Woody Harrelson was hosting Saturday Night Live. And one of his monologues and skit was about a drug cartel. They required everyone to stay in their home and would only come out of their home or could only come out of their home if they took this prescription. Sounds vaguely familiar, although Woody Harrelson quickly dismissed it as an impossible script that no one would ever believe. I think a few of us might believe it at that. And let's not forget when we're talking about the vaccines, the vaccines were really gene therapy. The other note of the day, is the head of the American Federation of Teachers. That would be one Ms. Randy Weingart. The second largest teachers union in the country came out and accused Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida of banning books. What was he banning? He was banning a book that taught LGBTQ, and I always get those things wrong, but basically you, you get the idea, to 10-year-olds. Now, I don't know about you, but there are things that are considered age appropriate and Messing with somebody's gender when they're 10 years old just seems to me, what's the Italian word for it? An infomnia? It's a good word for it. And I believe it was the late Justice Potter Stewart who, when asked to define obscenity, said, I can't define it, but I know it when I see it. I think this whole thing with LGBTQ and um, gender fluidity is a little too young for 10-year-olds. And here's the thing with the American federation of teachers i always say to people follow the money right if you follow the money you sort of understand people's reasons and rationale so forget about the lgbtq book right let me get my glasses on because at my age i can't see but this one i can so in 2020 the american federation of teachers gave 20 million dollars read that 20 million dollars to various political organizations right all of them of course were you guessed it, Democratic. Let's see, there was the Senate Majority Pack. There was the House Majority Pack. There was the Priorities USA Action. Doesn't that sound so benign? Priorities USA Action, Workers Vote, DNC Service Corp, the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee, the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, the In Union USA, and let's not forget, moveon.org. We're going to do a whole lot later on in future episodes about follow the money with the teachers unions, because I think it's high time someone took a look at where, not only where their money's coming from, but more importantly, where it's going. But as far as banning books in Florida, give me a break. So thank you for joining us for We the People with Robert Chernin. This is one of our short versions. And I'm happy to say, look for us coming up on the radio on WKTN and WUVR, sliced or situated between Dan Bongino and Ben Shapiro. That'll be a lot of fun, too. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.